So some of the most insane members of Congress who wear their stupidity like a badge of honor, uh, including Marjorie Green, Matt Gates, Louis Gohmert, Paul Gozar, they all teamed up for a joint press conference about political prisoners who stormed the Capitol on January 6th. Um, now, what happened is their event, their press conference was shut down by counter protesters, and it was absolutely hilarious. You love to see it. Uh, but before I show you the video, I just want to give you a little bit of uh, context as to why they were there. So this is from The Hill's Michael Schnell, who reports a news conference held by a coalition of House GOP firebrands was cut short Tuesday after a group of counter protesters gathered behind the lawmakers. The Republican lawmakers had gathered Tuesday to press the Department of Justice for a status report on individuals arrested following the January 6th attack on the Capitol, who they referred to as political prisoners but they were repeatedly interrupted and eventually ended the event after the counter protesters got too close for the speakers now the videos from this event are just um they're incredible that's the only word i can use to describe it so uh this is the main interruption you see them speaking and then the protests get louder and louder um or closer i should say and then an individual with a whistle was just unrelenting and would not stop blowing a whistle and she even addresses it just this is this is gold take a look I not remember that happening previously with the department of justice had to be reprimanded the whistle to in not the background. speculate on the media to the media regarding a high profile case it's fortunate it's unfortunate that members of congress have received only silence from the department of justice regarding the treatment of these defendants based upon concerns arising from statements made under oath yet the department of justice has not speculated or has not so hesitated see the to speculate the about this investigation to their friends in the media. I thank Congressman Gomert, a former judge, for no it. less, <laughs> for his commitment. <laughs> okay, when I pause it, the, the link pops up. But to the rule of law look and at that seeking Trump. the truth even in the face <laughs> of much opposition. Thank you. That Trump mannequin, oh my God. Um, first of all, to the guy that's blowing the whistle... <laughs> We are not deterred, and so for anyone that's here being an activist and yelling today, here's the statement that I need everyone to understand. We will not okay. back down. I just want to we stop this because if you've ever been to, like, the birthday party of a toddler, and whenever there's these, like, party favors, like, you know the thing that you blow and it, like, extends, they will not stop blowing those things. It's, like, so grating on your nerves um, so this is what it reminds me of, and it's the perfect way to heckle these types of individuals who are just completely idiotic and childish. But um, I love how she says, we will not be deterred. Uh, fast forward about like 30 seconds, and they will indeed be deterred because they will be leaving because, you know, the protests got a little bit too close for comfort. This is, this is so funny to me. I'm enjoying every second of this. We'll not stop asking questions. We are looking for the truth. And we believe the truth can be found by reaching out and answering and asking the right questions to the right people. Listen, there's another thing. The taxpayers of this country pay all of these people's salaries and they owe the people of this country the answers to the questions. Okay. The left is interrupting the press conference. We need to end it. Thank you. For those of you that really care about due process, thank you. I can't with the whistle. I, I have to go back, though, to Louis Gomer. Just like at the end, he had to butt in with his last little statement so he gets the last word, but... The intensity of the whistle. Okay, let's... let's here's Louis Gomer. Thank you. For those of you that really care about due process... For those of you who really care about due process, is the whistles in the background <laughs> getting louder and more frequent. Holy shit. Holy Thank shit. <laughs> now, lucky for you, I'm actually crying. There's a video of the whistle guy, and they like confront him about the whistle. 
<laughs> and he doesn't stop. He just keeps blowing the whistle. <laughs> Play. Please play. Okay. The CIA is trying to shut this down, folks. The deep state doesn't want me to see the whistle guy. Let me refresh the video really quick. Or the page. I'm literally crying from the fucking whistle. Okay. Here he is. Are you trying to assault people with auditory weapons? Are you trying to assault people with auditory weapons? Responds and whistle. I, I cannot get enough of this. There's there's more videos, but there's another um, interaction with the whistler. I love how they like one by one they'll they'll approach him and they'll try to talk some sense and into him try to reason with him try to get him to stop with the whistling his response whistle even more um louder faster let me see if this is a whistle oh, what happened here? The oh no he's up at the top yeah. so the the whistler made it close to the stage. I think that's probably when they decided to shut down the event. Having this extra camera angle is like, um, it gives us a little bit more context. I'm literally like, I have tears in my eyes from laughing so hard at that. I don't know why the whistle like was so funny to me, but just the way that he was like blowing it in their faces and totally unmoved whatsoever when they try to talk to him. It reminds me of like, again, to go back to like the toddlers at the birthday party thing. When you tell them, hey, can you like stop for a second? They like look at you with this like little shit eating grin and they blow it even louder. The little birthday thing. Holy shit, folks. Now, there's some other um, really interesting things that we pick up from different angles. This is from um, Zachary Patrizzo. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm like literally choking from laughing so hard. Uh, we also have... Uh, BG on the scene. I just want to make sure we give credit. Uh, the first video was CNN. But um, there was one video that I, I, I pre-watched most of this. And you can hear them. They say, they make a comment about censorship that for whatever reason, it, it really made me laugh. So Louis going to come in and he's going to make his like little dumb statement to get the last word. The left shut us down. They hate free speech. Um, I hate to tell you this, but them protesting elected officials, that is quite literally the reason why free speech exists. Like, that's, that's the whole point. They get to make their voices heard. And it looks like their free speech drowned out your free speech. You didn't have to leave. But you, you chose to. So they were exercising their free speech. You were exercising yours. Like you weren't, you weren't censored. You could have conducted this press conference in an area where there wouldn't be counter protesters. You could have done it indoors. I don't know. Uh, you could have rented a venue, but you did it outside. And you're all like the craziest members of Congress. So you're, you're going to attract counter protesters no matter what you do and where you go. So you should have maybe thought more deeply about this before uh, giving a presser outside where you basically are defending people who stormed the Capitol illegally so in an attempt to stage an insurrection. I'm sorry, I have to go back to the whistle video. It's just, to me, this man is an American hero. Can we get him the uh, Medal of Honor? Is, is that possible? Can we, 
is there some sort of honor that is bestowed upon United States citizens? Because I feel like this act of courage and bravery, it needs to be recognized at the highest levels of American government. Um, one more time, folks. I'm so sorry. I have to watch this. I'm just not over it yet. Okay, I think that this one is probably my favorite now. I mean, I'm losing steam a little bit. Just her, her reaction is so funny. I kind of feel bad for her because this is like just some random congressional aide, I'm assuming, who probably hates Paul Gosar or whichever ghoul she's working for. And she's like, oh, God, I have to put up with this bullshit so much um, because these people are fruitcakes who I work with. Maybe she's a fruitcake herself. I'm not necessarily sure. I don't know who this is, but her reaction here is really funny. You don't care. <laughs> you don't care. And then the Trump care, statue not. in the background. Or mannequin, whatever it is. I love how, like, she's trying to counter with her flag. He has a whistle, lady. You're not going to counter that unless you have a whistle yourself. Okay, no, they're not. They're not touching you. We've had it on video, sir. You're blowing a whistle in people's ears, damaging their hearing. It's on video. You're damaging their hearing. They're so melodramatic. Stop being a snowflake. Is that annoying? Uh, absolutely, I would be pulling my hair out. But, I mean, to say that he's, like, assaulting people, uh, assaulting their hearing, shut the fuck up. Like, these are not serious people. Uh, these ghouls, Paul Gosar, Louis Gohmert, uh, Matt Gates, Marjorie Green, these individuals, they're not serious. So, this sort of heckling should be a common phenomenon when there's so much unserious people in congress like people like this they're they're expected to be taken seriously when they are I insane these people like they they should not have political power they should not be taken seriously they should be shamed until they stop behaving like absolute fucking sociopaths but you know until then the best that we can hope for is more events like this Hopefully, Whistle Guy will, will crash a lot more conservative press conferences and Democratic press conferences. Um, and I would I would love to watch it. That's that's the best that we can hope for. It's the only form of accountability that these ghouls uh, face, unfortunately. Uh, just trolling. But, you know, it's better than nothing, so I'll take it. But, wow, this video made my day. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you. You're very welcome.